In today's video, we're going to show you how to slide with your quarterback in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and a question that I got that I think actually would help a lot of people is, how do you slide with the quarterback in Madden 18? So a lot of times your opponent will go uh, something like this with heavy coverage, and, and you're going to have an opening to run with your quarterback this year. What a lot of people don't know how to do is they don't know how to slide with their quarterback um, to actually make it worth it. So... Here, I'm going to show you. So basically, you're going to scramble with your quarterback, and you're going to hold right trigger. So you step up in the pocket, you scramble holding right trigger, and then you want to hold left trigger and square to slide. So when you're running with your quarterback, let me be very clear about this. So what's going to happen is they're going to, they're going to run their little plays like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to step up in the pocket. Okay, This play can be found in our premium membership, but you're going to step up and you're going to run. And when they go to tackle you, when they go to tackle you, I'm going to show you a pro tip too at the end of this. So this is going to be a tip that's going to allow you to not fumble the ball with your quarterback ever. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video to, so I can show you that. But anyways, what you're going to do is step up in the pocket. Nothing's open. I'm going to run. I'm going to hold right trigger, left trigger, and square. So I should already be holding right trigger because that's the scramble button, right? So that's why I'm saying all you should have to do is hold left trigger and um, and square. So again, let me show this one more time, and then I'll show you the pro tip. So Brady steps up at the pocket. Nothing's open. He's going to scramble left, and all I'm going to do is hold left trigger and square, and I'm going to slide down. That's going to alleviate you from fumbling with your quarterback. Um, now, if you wanted to dive, say you wanted to dive forward, like for a first down, then you're just going to hold square, and you're going to dive forward, as you can see. Okay? If you, if you um, want to, again, like if you wanted to, ah, oh, dang it, Fletcher Cox just said I'm here. So anyways, you're stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, and you're gone, and you're going to dive by just holding that. But if you hold left trigger, you slide. So that's really the only difference. Um, if you, let me see what happens if I don't hold turbo, though. Ah, oh, it doesn't really work well. Okay. So anyways, um, that is, that's how to slide. So to reiterate one last time, so what you're going to do is you're going to step up in the pocket and you're going to go, when you start running, dang it, Fletcher Cox. This drives me crazy when the defensive linemen actually do their job. Um, but when you step up in the pocket, so you're going, find a hole, hold left trigger and our trigger and square, and that's going to, that's going to make you slide. Okay. All right, guys, so for the last thing, the last tip of this video, this is kind of the next level tip. This is something that you're going to find, stuff like this, in the premium membership. So if you're interested in the premium membership, that link is in the description. But basically what you're going to do, and you would be able to do this at the main menu here, but because we're in practice mode, you're going to have to go to options. So you're going to go over to options, and you're going to go over to game, uh, game settings, game options. And what you're going to do is these gameplay helpers. You're going to go down here. And you're going to go to, let me see. Oh, it's not in here. Dang it. Uh, normally it's at the pause menu. I don't know why it's not there. Um, can't find it. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, basically what you're going to do is you're going to set your settings, the ball carrier settings. So you know how you can set settings. Hopefully you know that. If you don't know that, leave a comment and I'll help you figure out how to do it. But basically, you're going to set your settings up to where your ball carrier, you can either do aggressive, conservative, or normal. What you're going to do is you're going to go to conservative. If you go to conservative, then whenever you run with the ball with your quarterback, he won't fumble. Okay, he just he, they, The game is just the way it works. He will not fumble. So if you do that, that's going to alleviate a lot of the things that, in my opinion, a lot of people have been struggling with this year with the quarterback, me included, is I fumble the ball. I mean, I just... It's like every time I scramble with the quarterback, I seem to fumble the ball now. And with this new tactic of going conservative, it really has alleviated a lot of my fumbles and my patterns. Um, so, anyway, just want to encourage you to check that out. 